everybody, I've just come back to share with you. I've finished my 10 flowers that I have made for the UK and Ireland craft swaps, um, and we had to pick 10 flowers. So I've just come on to show you what mine is. I have them all packaged up, ready to go. Um, what I've done, if you look at a couple of Hi everybody, I've just come back to share with you. I've finished my 10 flowers that I have made for the UK and Ireland craft swaps um, and we had to pick 10 flowers. So I've just come on to show you what mine is. I have them all packaged up ready to go. Um, what I've done, if you look at a couple of t uh, tutorials back, I showed how I made my fabric flowers. Um, I know this is an old flower and I'd seen it was a tutorial that Lavish Laces, Laces had done and um, I took um, an inspiration for making this one's from hers and my fabric ones. So what I've ended up with this is exactly the same way I'm making these but instead of using the organza on the bottom layer and then fabric on top I've used two layers of organza. I cut one at three inches and the top layer at two inches and if you watch the tutorial it's just a case of folding over the organza, do a running stitch, pull it all together, tie it off and you get your two circles. Um, sewed them together and then you just cut into each layer and you see the mix up petals like that. And then all I've done is I've put a little bit of pearl, pearl beads that way and then a flower centre in the middle and I've just trimmed it off in the back with a bit of black felt. So that's what my flowers are looking like and like I say I've got them all packaged now ready to go and I'm really looking forward to getting my 10 flowers back and see all the different types of flowers that everyone's made and uh, I hope you like these. Okay that's all for just now, I'll be back again soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.